Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil. In this video, we will learn some basic questions for React.js interviews. So why we are only learning a basic questions in this video? Because in the upcoming time, I will create nine more videos for uh, React interview questions. And in these videos, we will uh, go in uh, one step up. Like uh, we will learn intermediate level questions. And uh, at the last, we will learn hardest question of React.js also. And each video have around 10 question. So at the last of this series, you will have a collection of 100 interview questions. And with that, you can easily crack any kind of React.js uh, interview. So before just starting with this video, I just want to share you information. If you are looking to purchase a domain name or hosting, then you can purchase from a domain racer because they are providing domain and hosting at a very low cost. Here you can see that the hosting is just starting with the 59 rupees per month. And they have some more features and advantage also like uh, a really fast hosting speed and customer care is really good. Even uh, if you have any kind of query or problem, they can resolve it very quickly. And I'm very sure they will satisfy your any query, any problem, right? And they have free website builder tool also. So let's say you are not familiar with the uh, code or you are just beginner at the code, then you can use this tool to make your website so now let's uh, start with our uh, interview question so first question we have what is react.js yes Yes, this question also can be asked if you are a fresher and you have around uh, only six month near experience then this question may, might be asked so the answer is uh, this is a javascript library and uh, used for a front-end development and it have actually good speed even you can say that this is a uh, much faster than Vue and angular also right and this is developed by the facebook and the current version of uh, um, react.js is 17.0.1 when you are watching this video please confirm it from the official website of react.js because might be you are watching this video uh, after six months or one year right uh, keep in mind you must have to remember this uh, first major release right uh, if you are just ignore the middle and the last then that's okay but you must need to remember this version so now uh, the second question what is component so basically components are the a piece of code that can be reused like a function but components are more powerful than the function because in a function uh, we have only a uh, one language uh, mostly right like you can have only JS code or uh, you might have only one programming language code, right? But in a component, you might have uh, API calling. Uh, it can have a HTML code also and uh, it can have uh, some other library code also. So this is a more powerful than the function. But for a mindset, you can just compare that we can reuse the functions also and we can reuse the components also. And components have basically two types. One is functional. Second one is class so now we have a question that what is the class component so as we know javascript don't have class concept right but ECMAScript 6 provide the class keyword in that way we can use a class so uh, what is that uh, a component that have a ECMAScript 6 class we can see that this is a class component and this is more com complex and powerful than the functional component because it have the lifecycle methods and states. So we don't need to use a hooks kind of things, right? All right, so after that, we have another question, which is what is functional components? A component that doesn't have a ECMAScript six classes, and this is a simple JavaScript function, right? So, and one more thing, uh, functional component have the less feature as compared to class component because in class component we have states we have life cycle methods but functional component we don't have these things for that we need to use hooks right so now let's see what is the next question states what are the states and what is state you can say that right so a state is basically a information holder like a, a variable right but there is a difference between a variable and state the difference is when you update any state your component will be re-rendered and this is a very important thing in react.js but when you update any variable or put data in a variable then your component will not gonna reflect these values right it will basically uh, don't re-render again so that's why we use a state and uh, it's behave like a variable but 
more with, with the more features and we cannot use state outside our component this question may be asked uh, completely completely different that uh, can we use state outside a component the answer is no we can't use it right for that we will basically use prop so there can be another question what is prop or what, what are what are the props so uh, they are used for sharing the data between uh, the components right so like we can share the data from parent to child child to parent or with a sibling siblings means parallel components and one more thing we cannot change our props value in receiving components so let's say you are sending the data from a component to b component so you can change the value of props in a a component but you cannot change the props value in a b component because this is a receiving component right keep in mind that and uh, the next thing is what are the life cycle methods so life cycle methods are simply uh, when we are just executing our code so every component have some uh, phases like uh, mounting phase update phase and unmounting phase that time some events are uh, you can say that some events or some functions are automatically called and we can write some code inside these components also but if we are not writing any code then still the component will execute right and these are the life cycle methods uh, some examples like uh, component did mount component did update should component update and in the upcoming videos we will learn about uh, these uh, life cycle methods also because they can also be asked in the interview questions so next thing is what is hooks what are the hooks so hooks are basically used in functional component because in a functional component we cannot use states and life cycle methods but hooks have the power to uh, provide the uh, you can say that uh, uh, provide the feature to the functional component so that we can use a life cycle methods and uh, state inside our functional component and whenever we will use hooks keep in mind with the every hooks at a starting we have a use keyword i will show you in the upcoming videos right and hooks cannot be used inside a class component so you will find that uh, use state this is basically a hook and you can see that we have a prefix here right and uh, again use effect and here we also have use keyword before effect so that means this is a hook so uh, what is the use state so this is basically used in a functional component to provide the feature of state and this is a example of it might be uh, interview in interview they ask you to just write an example of use state and uh, use effect use use effect is basically used for uh, life cycle methods in a functional component keep in mind uh, we cannot use hooks inside our class components keep in mind right so these are the 10 questions and uh, they are very basic and uh, you can just uh, uh, think about your level if you can answer these question easily that means you are okay with the basic level right and uh, in the upcoming video you can just think that where are you stand in react js if you cross all questions in our uh, even uh, you, you will just cross our 50 to 60 percent questions in our, our complete series that means you can easily crack our interviews for react.js so thanks for watching this video if you still have a query you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care